The calendar, the 50 hundred year struggle to align the clock and the heavens and what happened to the missing 10 days, by David Ewing Duncan is a captivating exploration of humanity's enduring quest to synchronize timekeeping with celestial phenomena. Duncan takes readers on a fascinating journey through the history of calendars, unraveling the intricate interplay between science, culture, and religion while shedding light on the enigmatic, missing ten days. One of the book's standout features is its ability to make a seemingly mundane topic genuinely engrossing. Duncan begins by tracing the origins of timekeeping, starting with ancient civilizations like the Sumerians and Babylonians, who laid the foundation for our contemporary calendar systems. He delves into the intricate observations of celestial bodies by early astronomers, highlighting the importance of these observations in developing accurate calendars. The book excels in its portrayal of the close connection between calendars and religious beliefs. Duncan explains how various cultures incorporated celestial events into their religious practices, emphasizing the role of calendars in shaping religious rituals and festivals. This connection between the spiritual and the scientific is a recurring theme throughout the book, illustrating how calendars have not only served as tools for practical timekeeping but also as instruments of cultural and religious expression. Duncan's narrative style is accessible and engaging, making complex historical and scientific concepts easily digestible for the lay reader. He injects personal anecdotes and experiences into the narrative, humanizing the historical figures and scientists he discusses. This approach brings a sense of relatability to the story, allowing readers to connect on a personal level with the individuals who played pivotal roles in calendar development. A significant portion of the book is devoted to the Gregorian calendar reform, a fascinating historical episode. Duncan provides a detailed account of Pope Gregory XIII's decision to reform the Julian calendar in the late 16th century, addressing inaccuracies that had accumulated over centuries. He vividly describes the challenges faced by scientists and astronomers in their quest to align the calendar with the solar year accurately. This section of the book underscores the intricate relationship between science and politics, shedding light on the complex negotiations and debates surrounding calendar reform. The titular, Missing Ten Days, refers to the adjustment made during the transition from the Julian to the Gregorian calendar. Duncan masterfully explains how this adjustment, which involved skipping ten days in October 1582, sparked controversies and resistance among various religious groups. He skillfully navigates the intricacies of this historical event, providing readers with a thorough understanding of the reasons behind the adjustment and its broader implications. One of the book's strengths is its interdisciplinary approach. Duncan seamlessly integrates historical accounts, scientific explanations, and cultural insights to offer a comprehensive view of the evolution of calendars. He explores the influence of calendars on various aspects of society, including agriculture, economics, and politics, emphasizing their role in shaping the course of human history. Throughout the narrative, Duncan also touches on the societal impact of timekeeping innovations, such as the development of mechanical clocks and the adoption of standard time zones. These innovations revolutionized the way people lived and worked, highlighting the profound influence of calendars and timekeeping on daily life. In conclusion, The Calendar, by David Ewing Duncan is a thought-provoking and meticulously researched exploration of the human endeavor to align timekeeping with the heavens. Duncan's engaging narrative, combined with his ability to seamlessly weave together history, science, and culture, makes this book a must-read for anyone interested in the intersection of science and society. By shedding light on the missing ten days and the broader history of calendars, Duncan provides readers with a deeper appreciation of the complexities of time, both past and present.